Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to Backyard Buckets. Today we are going to be talking about the Toronto Raptors, who started off with not the greatest, I guess you could say, beginning of the season. But they have bounced back somewhat. Uh, we're going to be talking about some of their leading scores and what they've been doing right to help get back. Also, there will be another Toronto Raptors video out, hopefully either Saturday or Sunday. So make sure to come back for that but there have been a lot of rumors surrounding the Toronto Raptors, so we're going to address all of that and more. But before we get started, make sure to like and subscribe. It'll really help us out in the YouTube algorithm. We're trying to hit 1.5K by the end of April. And with that being said, let's get started. So the Raptors are currently 13 and 15, 7th in the East. They started out like 13th in the East, so a very, very good upgrade. Maybe they were just getting used to playing in Tampa. You never know. Uh, but they have had a couple of guys come out and be really, really good for them and be huge parts of their success. Uh, first, we're going to be talking about their leading scorer, Pascal Siakam, Stinky P, whatever you want to call him, Spin Move P, Spicy P. He's got a lot of nicknames, uh, but he's doing pretty well right now. Averaging 21, 8, and 4.5 and assists, shooting the ball 46% from the field and 30% from three. Uh, pretty modern day big. Can dribble, pass, and shoot pretty well run the floor uh, we've seen working on the fadeaway right now uh, so all around pretty good player but he has proven that he is better off as the second option in when it comes to playoff time uh, more often than the first option next guy up is somebody that has been very very hot lately um, he's averaging 20 and a half points per game four rebounds and six and a half assists four rebounds is pretty pretty good I mean he's like five foot eleven pretty good Six and a half assists. He's shooting the ball 42% from the field and 38% from three. And of course, we're talking about Fred Van Vliet, a guy that has really come on this season. Like I said, uh, really ever since the birth of his daughter during the playoffs, or while they were in the finals, he's just been a bucket. He has really helped this team uh, get out of their slow start, get out of their slump, and it's looking like he's one of their main scorers for sure. Next up, we got a guy who's been in a lot of trade rumors, trade speculation lately, uh, and it is Kyle Lowry. Um, I don't know. There's a lot of people that think he's going to be traded before the deadline. There's a lot of people that don't. Uh, I mentioned that there's going to be another video about the Toronto Raptors out either Saturday or Sunday. It is going to be about uh, what if they just blow everything up. But right now, I don't think they should yet because they are trending in the right direction, going up. Um, and if you think about it, they lost their starting power forward, or they, they lost their starting center from last year's team, and they lost another veteran backup big, obviously being Serge Ibaka and Mark Gasol. So they lost a lot of, uh, I guess you could say, veteran leadership and output, uh, although Mark Gasol was getting old. He was getting exposed during the playoffs. Still, Serge is a really good piece. And so it's going to take them time to bounce back. I think they're finally starting to learn how to play without those guys. And like I said, they're turning up. Um, Lowry currently averaging 18 points, 5.5 rebounds, and 6.5 and assists. Shooting the ball 45% from the field and 39% from three. So pretty good shooting splits there. Uh, next guy we're going to be talking about has really, really provided them with a lift off the bench. Uh, they've really needed his scoring. Uh, Norman Powell. Another guy that we've seen in some trade rumors, um, he's really increased his trade stock. So if they wanted, or trade value, I guess you could say. So if they wanted to flip him into something, they could definitely do that. Although he's not a bad player. Only 27 years old, so just now going into the prime of his career. Obviously barring an injury, which hopefully that doesn't happen. But he's averaging 16 points, 3 rebounds, and an assist and half per game. Playing the Jordan Clarkson rule or role, not passing at all, only getting buckets, and he's shooting pretty efficiently too. Forty-six percent from the field and forty-two percent from three, so very efficient. Sixteen points a game there from Norman Powell. Next guy up is a guy who's improved uh, every year probably since coming to Toronto. He's averaging fourteen and a half points, six rebounds, and an assist a half per game, and that is OG Ananobi. He's I can't I can't pronounce his last name. Need somebody to sound it out in the comments for me. <laughs> but he is, like I said, averaging pretty good numbers, shooting the ball 49% from the field and 43% from three. Really good wing defender, kind of 3 and D guy. 
at least this year, according to his three-point percentage. Um, 43%, that's pretty, pretty good. Next guy, we made a video about him. I'm not going to talk too much about him, uh, but one of the comments on that video was he is a hybrid mix between, like, Kevin Durant and Larry Johnson, almost. Um, and that is Chris Boucher. Did learn how to pronounce his name, so whoever left that comment, thank you. Um, averaging 14.7 rebounds and two blocks a game, so really good rim protection, and he can run and jump looking like a newborn giraffe, but, I mean, it works. He's shooting all 53% from the field and 44% from three, which is pretty insane if you think about it. From a guy that is that big, obviously harder to shoot a basketball, the bigger uh, your hands are, the bigger you are as a person. So pretty good numbers there. Last guy we're going to be talking about, Terrence Davis. He's averaging seven points, a rebound and a half per game, and an assist per game, shooting the ball 44% from the field and 38% from three. So really nothing special there from Terrence Davis. Overall, the Raptors are 8th in offensive rating and 15th in defensive rating. So they've definitely brought their offensive game up. Um, Three-point percentages are up. Everything's looking up since the last time I made a video about them. So they've done the right things, and they're getting back into contention in the East. With all that being said, that is going to be it for today's video. So make sure to like and subscribe if you're new. And if you enjoyed, uh, it would be greatly appreciated if you could hit us with a like or subscribe. Either one. Don't really care. Uh, but with that being said, thank you for watching.